Today is September 29th, and you should be reading Jeremiah 5-7, through Psalm 75, and 2 Corinthians 10. The Israelites, they keep turning away from God. I mean, like, what the heck, guys? They, they keep choosing to not follow God. And God, however, keeps sending prophets, keeps sending people to tell them what's coming, to warn them. Because God loves them and he's trying to help them. He has to send this punishment and he knows it, but he's, he's trying to give these guys a chance to turn around, to repent, to choose to start following him again. But often they choose not to. And God says in um, chapter 7, verse 19 that, But am I the one they are provoking, declares the Lord? Or are they not rather harming themselves to their own shame? God doesn't force us to do anything. God tells us everything we need to know and lets us make a choice. We know that when we choose not to follow him and to reject him, that there will be consequences and the punishment for that is death. And he warns us just as he, the people of Israel were warned by the prophets, he tells us that. And we get the opportunity to make a choice. But when we choose to reject him, we choose our punishment. We know what's gonna happen. But God's not going to force us to love him because that's not real love. And he, he wants us to worship him and to love him. But it's only true when we choose it for ourselves. And the Israelites, they keep choosing to reject God. And they're essentially choosing to be in captivity time and time again. Because... The prophets told them. They knew that captivity was going to come. They were going to be conquered by other nations if they kept choosing to deny God and to worship idols. It's not like some mysterious thing like, oh, why did this happen to us? <laughs> there were multiple prophets, including Jeremiah, that said, guys, look what's coming. God is going to do this. He's going to punish us. We are his people and we're not acting like it. But... They don't, they don't listen most of the time. Sometimes they do, but most of the time they don't. God cares though. I mean, why else would he send the prophets? Why else would he tell them? I mean, if he didn't care, I mean, he'd just do whatever he wants. But he cares about us and he loves us. I mean, we see that in Jesus and his sacrifice. And I want you guys to think about that and think about how he cares about us so much. He, he warns us and he tells us. We have the Bible. We have that. And we know what's going to happen. We know that when we choose to reject Jesus and to reject God, that there's punishment for that. But we also know when we choose to follow him, um, there's so many blessings. And our reward is being in the presence of God. And I just really want you guys to sit with that today. To think about it. And think about how are you doing? Are you listening to God? Are you taking time to read his word? Are you taking time to pray and sit in silence and listen to him? Or are you ignoring him? And are you putting other things like money, power, control, things in front of him? And are you actually worshiping those instead? So I leave you with that. And until next time, you are sent.